Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from the code. The problem name is count good meals. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given a good meal and the good meal is defined to contain exactly two different food items with a sum of deliciousness equal to the power of two. Now you, are, you have to pick any two different food to make a good meal. Now given an array of integers deliciousness, as you can see in the input, where deliciousness of i is the deliciousness of the ith food item, you have to return the number of different good meals that you can make from the list mod by 9 plus 7. That is the overall problem statement. That you have to make different food item meals. Okay. And the meal consists of, you can say, two different foods. Uh, now, what you can say here is that uh, the consumption is pretty long. So, you cannot do this in a very brute first way to take every two possible, let's say, food items. But what you can also observe is that this is to 2 to our 20, which is because the total sum of the two items that you will pick should be a multiple of two. It should be a multiple of two. What you can, what we are, we are, yeah, it should be a multiple of two. So what you can, or not, sorry, multiple of two, it should be a power of two. If it is a power of two, there are only a finite amount of power of two till this point. Because see, the very maximum case, let's take a very maximum case example. The the very maximum will be the 2 to 20 because again, according to the constraints and the next is also 2 to 20. If you add them, 2 to 20, 21. So what you can see is that the very maximum, like the very maximum case can be 2 to 21. So this, as you can see, is a very finite number. Like you can easily calculate them and because it's an exponential, which means that you just have to find out 21 uh, numbers that are like 2 to 1, 2 to 2, 2 to 3. So what you can see is that for every number, you just have to check that to make it a power of 2, like whether the other pair of it exists. What I mean by this is, let's say I have a number equal to 5. Now, if it should be a power of 2, because I have to take two, like two food items, and then some of them should be a power of 2, then the only case can be, it can be 2, it can be 4, it can be let's say 8, 16, 32 and so on till 21 numbers. So if can it be a power of like if I add this plus x like the other number let's say the x. If both of them can power of like can this total sum equal to 2? No. Can it total sum equal to 4? No. Can it total sum equal to 8? If it total sum equal to 8 then the other meal should be equal to 3. Okay, that is the simple idea that the other meal will be equal to 3. If the total sum will become equal to 16, the other meal will be 11. So there are only 21 numbers that you have to check. So you just have to check that the, whether the other x exists. And you just have to do it for all the n numbers. Because, because then you just have to do in O of n for iterating, iterating all the numbers. And then there are 21 numbers that you have to check. And then for all the 21 numbers, you will do log n time. You just check out that whether that number or you can also do this you can say uh, using a hash map also but it's better to take uh, like a map only so so it is o of n login you can also do unordered map as well but in like in without that you can take it is o of n login time complexity that it will take you just find out the answer that's it that is the idea, idea that you have to use to particularly solve this problem out nothing much complicated here itself so let's move on to the code part now so we have to first make an array. You, you can do it without the array itself, but like I just made the array. So because we have 21 numbers that you have to do, I will push back and create all the power of 22. Okay, so 2 to power 1, 2 to power 2, 2 to power 3 and so on. It should be also taking 2 to power, let's say 0 also, which is 1 as well. That is also a valid point. So all these are 2 to the power are inserted and pushed inside a vector. Then what you can do, I created a map. And then what we'll do is that we will iterate over all the elements one by one. And then what we'll eventually have to uh, find out is that for every number, let's say for every number, whether the other part of it, okay, exists in the map itself. So we, what we'll do is that for taking every number, we will check that whether the other part of it should be such that it should it can be a power of two. So I will iterate over all the powers two in checking that whether the other half of it, that is i minus x, exists in the map. Okay, if it is exists in the map then how what is the value how many times it exists so let's say as you can see it can be like a duplicate as well so that will form the total number of pairs that we got and as we 
increment and take more elements we will add them inside the map so that we will not double count it because we have to take double or as you can see we have to take different meals so that we will not take the same meal again okay that is why this actually happens very like this is a very good technique in which if you don't want to double count anything again what you can do is that you will not update the map initially i have not created the map using a for loop before this but i am dynamically creating the map inserting the values after finding out the values itself so that I will only add or find out those pairs which are uh, like before it. So I will only take this element and map it before it. Okay, and not after it. So that uh, different values will be taken. And that's it. In the end, I will have to find the answer mod at number 9 plus 7. Simple. So uh, for that, you will just take this as a long log so that this will not overflow. And in the end, we'll just do it at number 9 plus 7. Modulus of this. It's pretty much simple. So that is the whole idea to solve this particular problem out. If you still have any doubt, you can mention in the box for this particular problem. I will see you. In next week, coding and bye.